<laughs> From Bath to the Bookies, celebrating the Melbourne Cup Carnival, Sports Tonight. And we'll have all the Cup news shortly, including the final call on whether Tie the Knot will run on Tuesday. But let's start on a winning note. Blackfriars has survived a controversial protest to win this afternoon's Victoria Derby at Flemington. Nine group races, $2.75 million in prize money and the clash of Australia's top three-year-olds. In the Derby, punters finding it hard to split Shogun Lodge and Blackfriars. Blackfriars go up on the outside. Shogun Lodge a length away. Battling on Free Mason. Blackfriars hit the lead in the Derby from Dyer Tribe. Two lengths back to Shogun Lodge who's still coming. Blackfriars in front. Shogun Lodge a length away. Peggy in back. Blackfriars a half in front. He's got the Derby one. Shogun Lodge can't get him. Blackfriars and Black... A third Derby success for super sire Dane Hill, but first Blackfriars had to survive a protest. Shane Dye alleging interference in the last 200 metres. If, if I had my rightful running, which I'm entitled to, there's no doubt that horse would have won. Dixon, it did not affect the result of the race and the placings therefore stand. Winning jockey Greg Childs free to celebrate his second derby victory, including a verbal swipe at rival Shane Dye. Shane Dye gave us a few hair raising moments, but that's Shane. He uh, obviously gives his best and, and tries to win when he doesn't win. Blackfriars returned $4.10 the win and $1.70 the place, Shogun Lodge $1.70 and Dyer Tribe $2.20. A dramatic climax to the Victoria Derby, but punters recovered quickly, sending Melbourne Cup hopeful Tie the Knot out, a red-hot favourite in the McKinnon Stakes. As expected, Tie the Knot settled third last, but punters were disappointed when the Cup favourite failed to run on. That's Rogan Josh drawing the neck clear. This is a strong run, Rogan Josh coming away. Rogan Josh wins it nearly a length. Bart Cummings again proving he's the master trainer. Show you will settle and uh, still get to the line, which is the most important thing. And, uh... Yeah, it was a good trial. Tie the Knots connections can now only hope for improvement in the Cup on Tuesday. Rogan Josh returns 16-10 the win and 360 the place. Long shot Rebel helping the trifecta to almost eight and a half thousand dollars. The Daily Double at Flemington returned twenty-eight dollars for the numbers four and sixteen. The Quaddy paying almost eleven and a half thousand dollars, while the straight six jackpots to Cup Day. And Darren joins us live now from Flemington where the barrier draw for Tuesday's Melbourne Cup is about to get underway. Yes, and uh, the most important thing, oh, all the attention at the barrier draw is on tie the knot and of course whether the horse will actually run. I spoke to Shane Dye a short time ago. He's, his manager was on the phone to the horse's connections. The answer that was given to Shane Dye was we'll assess the horse's condition tomorrow. So you'd have to say that on its performance today tie the knot is no certainty to start in the race. A few that have come into the field though from today's performances uh, Rogan Josh, Behemoth, The Warrior and Brew. And I can tell you that Michael Iskander has framed a new market for the Melbourne Cup. Rogan Josh has had its quote slashed from 12 to 1 into 4s. Tie the knot now out to equal 5 to 2 favourite with Sky Heights and Rebor into 8 to 1. So uh, after a dramatic day of racing, punters are now assessing uh, their new Cup favourites after a quite, a quite an amazing day on the track. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Darren. Darren Linton at Flemington. Next week, a cup story with a difference. Oh, engines are on fire. I thought, well, this is it. The Melbourne surgeon who survived an air disaster. Now his hopes are pinned on Sky Heights. Day tonight. At the annual racing mass. Just as Easter is the most important day in Christendom, Cup Week is the most important in Australian racing and a cause for contemplation. In turf parlance, a distinguished veteran in green silks with red cap led the field in a who's who of racing. Bishop Aloysius Morgan was an import from Canberra for today's event and he's already been trackside. I've never been to Flemington since Spearfelt won in 27 and yesterday, I went yesterday... Today, ...as were overseas pair Travelmate and Yovana's Pace. This year, the overseas trainers have lightened their horse's earthly burden. We've now learned that when we travel long distances, that's probably a mistake. Realizing that all life, and therefore the life of a horse, belongs to God. Well, there you go, and that ends a, a busy day in sport, Cathy. Our next National Bulletin at 11.30 tomorrow morning. But stay with us now for Sports Tonight. I'm Louise Thiel. Good night.
in sports tonight. Actions of Cup hopeful tie the knot. Springtime. It's when Melbourne blossoms and Flemington booms. When Australia dresses up and down, heads to the track and says, let's party. And when these amazing thoroughbreds stare down the turf and declare, let's race. From Bath to the bookies, celebrating the Melbourne Cup Carnival, Sports Tonight. While speculation surrounded if Ty the Knot would start in Tuesday's Cup, his trainer had already made the decision. Guy Walter disappointed, but not disillusioned. In his defence, he ran like that last year. Then he ran a terrific race in the Melbourne Cup. So hopefully it's history repeating itself. Ty the Knot's connections paid up in full at last night's barrier draw, but a question mark remained over the horse's health. He appears to be fine. He appears to not be carrying any injuries. And, um, you know, he's pulled up well, he's eaten up well, and uh, hopefully he'll be quite OK. But while Walter remains confident, the bookmakers don't, dropping him from favourite to fourth in the line of betting. The market is Sky Heights on top, followed by Labille and Rogan Josh. Travel mate and tie the knot follow. Frankie de Torre's Mount Central Park is at 50 to 1, second coming at 80s. The message in Zaborn bringing up the rear. But while Ty the Knot has drifted in the market, he remains a favourite with close friends. I think he's too good a horse to ride off, and I think you'll find that he'll run a good race. It's no longer an invasion, but the remaining three-pronged European attack on the Melbourne Cup is now safely ready to run. Got to be a big relief, but we've still got two days to go, so we've uh, got the chance to get anything can happen yet, so we're not there yet. But while travel mate and Yovana's pace worked impressively at Sandown this morning, it was a comment made in a Melbourne newspaper by trainer Colin Alderson which was stealing the attention. And also the leading advocate for an international racing series in Dubai. And that has always seemed to me the logical halfway house. That's the ground where we can meet on equal terms.